Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 44 of Learn Lightroom 5. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to turn a negative into a positive using just Lightroom. Now, this was prompted by an email I received from a viewer. They told me they had some scanned negatives and they were wondering if they could process them in Lightroom. And you absolutely can, and I'm going to show you how to do it using this negative. Now, right off the bat, just go right to the tone curve. Make sure you're on the RGB channel and you're using a linear point curve. What we're going to do, we're going to invert this curve. Right now it goes from the lower left to the upper right. We want it to go from the upper left to the lower right. So simply go to one of the corners. I'm going to start with the lower left and grab it by clicking down on your left mouse button and just push it straight up and when you get it straight up make sure it's flush against the left and the top and we have this line now going straight up across the top of the tone curve chart and you can see we have a perfectly white image now go to the far right point grab it and pull it straight down oops dropped it sometimes you'll snap off it you got to go really slow and you can see I'm going very deliberately slow but now we have an inverted curve now theoretically we should be done now but what happens when negatives get scanned typically is you lose a lot of contrast so as you can see in this image here it's it lacks a lot of contrast also what happens you're scanning them using a light source and that lights that light has a color balance and that will usually throw the white balance off. So what we have to do, we have to do something about this lack of contrast and we have to correct the white balance. And we're going to do that in the basic panel. Now, what you're going to find is because we inverted the tone curve, a lot of these sliders are going to work a little wacky. Let me show you. Uh, the exposure slider, typically if I want to increase exposure I'd move it to the right well as you can see when I move it to the right it's decreasing exposure so this slider is working opposite of what it normally does you're gonna find the temp and the tint slider do that also T moving to the right I should be warming the image and as you can see I'm cooling off the image so these three sliders are opposite of what they normally do fortunately the contrast slider works identical to what it does to a normal uh, image so we're gonna move that to the right to increase contrast. I'm going to crank it right up. Now the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks are even wackier. They do work opposite so when you think you're increasing one you're actually decreasing it. But beyond that the highlight slider is now the shadow slider. The shadows is, are the highlights and the whites and the blacks are reversed also. So We'll go to the highlights. Now I'm actually adjusting the shadows and I want to turn the shadows down. So I'm going to increase highlights to do that. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's what you do. Now what I would suggest you do is not worry about what does what. Just kind of adjust them one by one. Move them around and try to get them um, to a point where you think they look, you know, they're improving the image. So contrast all the way up, highlights all the way up, shadows all the way up. So actually what I did was is I turned shadows all the way down. I've turned highlights all the way down All right, on these two. Whites and blacks, we're going to increase those or maybe I'm actually decreasing them. See, it kind of gets crazy if you try to put your head around it too, too much. So like I mentioned, just adjust them to try to get a um, pleasing looking image. So right there doesn't look too bad. Now, I did mention the white balance is going to be off. Now, fortunately, the eyedropper tool works the same way. And what you would do is you just click on this, and you would take the eyedropper tool, and you'd find a neutral color. Hopefully, you could find white. And it looks like this um, uh, makeup artist has a kind of white sweater on. So we're going to click there. And you could see it adjusted the white balance properly. Now. The clarity, vibrance, and saturation sliders do work the same way. So if you want to add some clarity, you would go to the right. And if you want to add vibrance or take some vibrance away, you, you'd adjust those 
uh, sliders uh, saturation also in the same manner as you always do. So that's it. That's how you take a negative and turn it into a positive using Lightroom. I hope that helps a lot of you guys that have a lot of scanned negatives. Um, guys, I'd like to thank again everyone for watching my videos and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.